Hello you two, it's Miss Farrah and Bear again, ready to read you another story. The book I have chosen today, we got from Father Christmas, Father Christmas, so I thought it'd be a nice one to read to you. And I've also chosen this one because my class really enjoy Ari. So I thought you'd like to hear some of these Bible stories from the New Testament. And I'm going to read and then I'll show you the pictures because that's a bit tricky to do today with this book. The first part we're going to read today is called, is called Jesus Enters Jerusalem. And here's the first picture we're going to be finding out about. The city of Jerusalem was packed with people who'd come to celebrate the Passover festival. It was also time for Jesus to start the last stage of his life. Jesus entered Jerusalem riding on a humble donkey. His followers threw their cloaks or dark palm leaves on the dusty ground before him, and he was met by enormous crowds. For many had heard the miracles that this man had performed. The religious leaders might fear and hate Jesus, but many of the people truly saw him as their king, and they tried to give him a king's welcome. They called out, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. But Jesus was sad, for he knew that soon these people would be cheering, these people cheering would turn against him. They expected him to fight with to fight with him against the Romans, and that was not what he was on earth to do. Well they are with the palm leaves. The Last Supper. It was nearly time for the Passover feast, and a kind man had set aside a room for the disciples to prepare for it. That night, when they were eating, Jesus wrapped a towel around his waist, filled a basin with water, and then, kneeling onto the floor, began to wash and dry the disciples' feet like a servant. The disciples were speechless. But when he knelt before Simon Peter, the disciple protested, Lord, you mustn't wash my feet. Jesus replied gently, you don't understand what I'm doing, but later it will be clear to you. Jesus had washed their feet like a servant so that they could learn to do the same for one another. But Jesus knew he would soon have to leave his friends. He was sad and troubled. Soon one of you will betray me, he said. The disciples looked at one another in shock. But when Judas left the room soon after, they didn't realise that he was the traitor and would tell Jesus' enemies where to find him that same night in exchange for 30 silver coins. Then Jesus handed around bread to represent his body and wine to represent his blood before telling them he would soon leave them. Simon Peter cried out, but Lord, why can't I follow you? I would gladly lay down my life for you. Would you, my friend? asked Jesus gently. And yet you will disown, disown me three times before the cock crows. Peter was horrified. He didn't believe that could ever happen. Tomorrow, year two, we will learn about how P Jesus was betrayed and then we will learn about how he died on the cross. And I think that's a really good, it's a really good time to read this Bible story because we are very close to Easter, which is the time in the Bible that this happened. See you tomorrow.